So this is going to be China. Three questions. Taiwan, hypersonic missiles, and climate. So I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. I am Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So haven't you thought about it? What is going on with China? I mean, world domination is what it looks like. Did they start the coronavirus? I'm not gonna ask that question. But I am gonna find out, so what about this climate change declaration they made with the USA at the recent uh, uh, climate change meeting? Let's uh, find uh, maybe a three cards about that. Then this hypersonic war, what are they doing launching missiles that can circle the earth and then they hit a target, they missed 25 miles when it came back all the way around and uh, hit a target in China uh, as their practice. Is this a threat? And then uh, this Taiwan situation, you know, Taiwan has been uh, independent for quite some time. The, Re the Republic of China, Republic, okay, being the operative word there. So let's ask these questions and see what goes on. And I'll tell you a tiny little bit I know about uh, Taiwan before we get started. This whole thing about Taiwan could actually erupt in a, a war that could involve the United States. So here's just three little short paragraphs to give you just some a little bit of meat when we get to that question. It'll probably be the third question that I asked though. But Taiwan has been uh, governed independently of China since 1949. Okay, but Beijing views the island as part of its territory, and Beijing has vowed uh, eventually to unify Taiwan with the mainland using force if necessary. So that's pretty clear. They said, "No, you've been away too long. We're bringing you home, and uh, we'll we're going to grab you by the ear and drag you by the ear and drag you uh, into the house." Uh, tensions are rising. Taiwanese president, I can't say the name, whose party uh, platform favors independence has rebuked Beijing's efforts uh, to undermine democracy and uh, Beijing has ramped up political and military, military pressure on uh, Taipei. So yeah, Taipei saying, nope, we want to be independent and China saying, you're coming home. Okay, some analysts fear that war between the United States and China could erupt over Taiwan. The United States provides Taiwan with defensive weapons but leaves the question of whether it would actually defend Taiwan unanswered and China's telling us you don't want to go there that's kind of what they said to Biden so let's see what the cards say so this is the Chinese tarot deck by I don't know how to pronounce this we Gulang. perhaps you can see it there and make your own determination as to how to pronounce it but this is by US games systems and uh, I've had these cards for a bit and I've been uh, playing with them and so I thought I'd just um, show you uh, what we've got here so they come in this, the typical, uh, you know, little box. It's not anything to speak of, really. And um, the um, the inserts in here are, again, what you typically find with cards. And the, the deck, the uh, instruction pamphlet, is just uh, a typical little uh, instruction pamphlet with the typical uh, suggestions in one language as to how to divide the cards. So there. And um, But the cards themselves are pretty cool i've enjoyed using them and they're not hard to uh interpret now this is a really neat design on the back i don't know if you can see it but it's got like a warrior here with their hands outstretched and then all this going on and another warrior upside down here so that's the back but then the cards themselves are really beautiful they're good size and uh, the art is interesting and they're very easy to read uh, even though they don't have the typical little uh signals that uh, a lot of cards give you as to what this means and what that means and you know, you know what I mean? So there we go. So this is the uh, the Chinese tarot deck. And, you know, I like to spread them out like this for two reasons. One, if you're working with somebody, you can let them uh, kind of spread them out this way if they're not com comfortable with shuffling and you really want them to get involved with all the cards. And two, um, you know, when I was just uh, looking at uh, readers online, I always wondered, what does the rest of the deck look like besides what I got to see in just this short little presentation? So this is the Chinese tarot deck, and I like it. Okay, so here we go. We're going to talk about China, China, China. 
My goodness. So the president of China is like uh, all feet um, um, dug into the ground uh, against um, the United States lending any support to uh, Taiwan. But the first question, so this is the Knight of Coins, the Knight of Value. So the first question, though, is going to be uh, climate change, then the hypersonic war, and then this Taiwan. So climate change. So China and the United States have committed during the climate change agreement to something substantial. I don't know exactly what it is. I just know that they have made an agreement. China is a big polluter. And uh, so let's see if we think uh, China has gone under this uh, with an honest uh, uh, intention. Three cards only. So one, two, three. This is an interesting spread. Starts out really close together and then gets spread out. This looks like a, a smog to me. It's really smoggy here and then here's a little bit less thin or more thin. So, China and climate change. You made an agreement with the United States. Are you, do you expect to honor that? So Confucius, this is the uh, world card. And so this is telling us that, uh, yeah, the, the Confucius is wise and uh, all knowing and brings with him all the power of the uh, of, of that card. Interesting. The next card for that is the chariot. So things coming quickly. This actually looks like a storm, doesn't it? it kind of looks like climate change happening. So this is the chariot right here, pulled by a dragon, and this fellow is just really doing everything he can to keep this this situation under control. So as this fella uh, looks Asian, and so that um, is very interesting. And then the final card. The Six of Staves, well, this is victory. This is a victory card. So I will say from this right here that, uh, yeah, they, China will definitely um, hold up their end of the bargain for what they said uh, regarding China claims. It changed. They must be taking it very seriously. And I know that they are ramping up their electric automobile industry like crazy. So that looks good. So the next question on this was um, hypersonic war. So hypersonic war. China and this hypersonic war. So they launched that, is that card upside down? They launched that missile around the world. It hit its target within 25 miles when it came down on the other side uh, in China. So that's fascinating. I mean, and, and why are we so behind? Uh, why haven't, why don't we have that technology? But they say that we do have the technology. Maybe that's what I saw. Uh, but um, we're far behind uh, China with that so okay I'm gonna trust that these are all the, you know what happens is I don't like inverted cards because I don't trust my interpretation of them so I try really hard not to have inverted cards and if it does in fact come out inverted after I've done all the diligence that I can think of then I know that it really needs to be read that way and I do my best okay so that's why uh, I don't uh, uh, read inverted cards I won't say I don't read inverted cards but I don't encourage them. okay China and hypersonic war. China and hypersonic war. Will they launch a hypersonic war against anyone? Okay, three cards. One, two, three. Will China launch a hypersonic war against anyone? Let's see what comes up here. First card for that, strength. Wow, that's scary. Okay, second card for the, will they launch a hypersonic war? is the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is walking away from something that's valuable to you, that's important to you. Um, this is very interesting. So uh, hopefully this says to me maybe they would walk away from that. I hope. Okay, last card, Hypersonic War, Temperance, Finding a Balance. Okay, so lovely. It looks like um, they want to show they have the strength. They would walk away from something that drastic apparently and apply temperance to the situation nice so far so good so now let's talk about taiwan so china and taiwan you know china considers taiwan a part of their uh empire you know they um and they want taiwan to follow the same um communist uh rules that uh, they just in enforced on um uh the cap, I can't think of it now. But um, so Hong Kong. So yes. Yeah, so let's see what 
uh, China is going to do about Taiwan. Will China in take Taiwan in against Taiwan's wishes? Will China take Taiwan into their type of government against Taiwan's wishes? That sounds about right. Let's do six cards. This will be a full Celtic cross. Six. Okay, will China take Taiwan in against Taiwan's wish? It's signifier card for that. Two of Swords. Okay, a decision has to be made. Two of Swords is going one way or the other way. I like to say Swords are truth, justice, rules, and law. So what, what of those four things applies to this? Uh, truth. The truth is that Taiwan wants to be independent, and the truth is that China China uh, wants them to come into the fold. Uh, justice. So it would seem like uh, if the majority of Taiwan's uh, people uh, want to remain uh, uh, democratically independent, then that's the justice, the higher justice that should be served, it seems like to me. Truth, justice, rules. Okay, if you apply, and I don't know how this works, but if you apply Chinese's, China's uh, assertion that Taiwan is theirs uh, legally, then um, how does that fit? And that falls right into law, truth, justice, rules, and law, then the law would uh, prevail. Interesting. So this is a signifier. The uh, challenge to this, to a sword, making a choice, having to go one way or the other, is strength. Wow. So we just had this strength card uh, in the previous pull, uh, and it related to China. So I'm going to say that this is the strength of China, uh, which is weighing the choice that has to be made here. The base of this reading is Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is feeling trapped, and that's where Ch Taiwan is right now. They've got these uh, swords all around them, uh, which are the truth, justice, rules, and law, and uh, they're feeling that they can't uh, wiggle out of it. Uh, but usually what happens with the Eight of Swords is there is room to escape that uh, if you just look around and find the right path out. So that's interesting if we apply that traditional uh, meaning to the Eight of Swords. In the past of this reading, for whether um, uh, China will impose their rule on Taiwan, is the Five of Staves, which is the Five of uh, Staves is the Five of Wands, and this is typically uh, pointless arguing, um, uh, argy-bargy, my friends in Australia would say, um, uh, bickering, and uh, to, to, to not much um, uh, reason. In the sky of this reading, then, is the Six of Swords, and the Six of Swords is um, moving out of troubled water, okay? So this could indicate that this whole thing could just move out of conflict. I'm going to leave it at that, okay? Uh, and maybe status quo would be maintained. And the likely outcome of the whole thing, China taking uh, Taiwan uh, under their uh, arm, Queen of Coins. So coins are value, uh, worth, uh, this queen is pretty strong, okay? She's not a king, but she's pretty strong. Queen of coins, this could either be Taiwan or it could be China. I'm not sure. Let's finish this off. Would, will China take Taiwan uh, forcefully? The signifier of that, the self of that question, is the five of cups. You know, the five of cups is, is just like it shows here in this in this illustration. You've got three cups that are spilled over, but you've got a cup here and a cup here that are fully upright and are useful to the situation. So there's a lot of spilt milk, but there's still something to work with in this. The uh, environment that that's in is this three of coins. And uh, the three of coins is, wow, my mind just went blank. It's happening every single reading recently. I must be finally... Uh, succumbing to my Alzheimer's uh, fit, but I'm going to look on my um, my cheat sheet right here for the coins and um, where are pentacles here? I've got wands, cups, swords, and pentacles, and the three is uh, oh yeah, I'm so silly. The three of coins is always working together for something for public display. Ah, this is very good. So the environment of this uh, spilt milk here is um, uh, finding partnerships to work together to put something up for public display. So that's that's negotiation right there. Okay, so it's in the environment of negotiation. But the hopes and the fears for that, this uh, knight of coins, the knight of coins is the, is the, the fella who has the value. And I'm going to say, I don't know, this feels like China to me. They're going to fight for their value. And the likely outcome of the whole thing is going to be right here with this nine 
of Wands. And the Knight of Wands is really being in battle. So it looks like this fight is not going to be over uh, anytime soon, or at least not with, with complete clarity. There's going to be, there's, someone's going to get beat up in this, and I would say it has to be Taiwan. But uh, it looks like there's some room for negotiation here. We talk about it again, just to see if this is clearer. We say, uh, well, uh, China take Taiwan. Two of swords, that's a choice to be made. And it's, in, it's crossed by strength, and that's the strength of China. Okay? Uh, the base of this reading is the eight of swords, which is feeling trapped, but you could really get out if you have to. This has to be Taiwan. And then the past of this reading with this five of stages is just the endless bickering back and forth. The uh, sky of this reading with this six of swords uh, tells me uh, that uh, we want to move this out of troubled water. That's the highest hope. That's the aim of this, to move it out of troubled water because there doesn't need to be a war. Uh, and then the um, likely outcome of this is the queen of coins, the strength of the value. I'm going to say this is Taiwan. The Taiwan is saying, look, we recognize we're not the king, but we recognize our strength, and this is how we intend to remain uh, 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 our, uh, ruled. The... Um, so for that question as to whether China will take uh, Taiwan by forces, this Five of Cups, which is saying that there's some things spilt, but there's some things left to work with, and it's in the environment of what? This Three of Coins, which is uh, putting something together for public display, a collaboration. Uh, 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 so this is, you know, negotiation right here. And that's what that's in the environment of. The hopes and the fears of this, with this Knight of Coins, I think is China saying, look, okay, I'm going to send my knight in there, and we're going to get done what we expect to get done. He doesn't give up until he gets what he wants. And then the uh, likely outcome of the whole thing is this uh, knave of uh, nine of uh, wands, not nine of staves, which is uh, really feeling in battle. It's a big war, but someone is left standing up, and I'm going to say this is Taiwan. You know, some of the hardest negotiators <coughs> I've ever been, some of the hardest negotiations I've been in, have been Asian folks. So I will say that these two countries are in, going to be in some very deep negotiations, and it's going to end up in the favor of China, but I don't know how much Taiwan's willing to give up before they uh, go to war uh, to maintain their uh, you know, kind of independence. Interesting. So I don't know. That's what I get for these volatile issues. So um, let me know what you think about all of this and if you're even interested. Or I'll just stick to uh, Prince Harry and uh, President Biden because those seem to be the topics that get the most views. Now, come on, guys. Give me some love. I'm Mark. My journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now.